We've all seen the movie Jurassic Park, and some of us may have wondered if humans could outrun a T-Rex with dinner plans. A team of scientists at the University of Manchester used a supercomputer to confirm what many people have a gut instinct about. Turns out a T-Rex could indeed run you down. In fact, it could even outrun an Olympic athlete. The team, headed by a biomechanical expert and a paleontologist, started by analyzing computerized models of chickens and worked their way up. After computing the running speed of ostriches, the team worked up models of five different meat-eating dinosaurs. Dino lovers take note. They used the tiny Compsognathus and the fast and nasty Velociraptor for small to middling models. Then they used Dilophosaurus, Allosaurus, and finally Tyrannosaurus. Turns out that T-Rex wasn't too slow once it came up to speed, which would be bad news now if they hadn't gone extinct millions of years ago. In an attempt to stem the increasing number of scientifically illiterate people in the United States, the National Academy of Science has put out a book. Most polls show a majority of people in the U.S. don't believe in evolution. Evolution, Darwin's theory which explains the origin of plants, animals, and people, also organizes a worldview free from the need of deities to explain human origins. Modern biology, as well as the other sciences based on evolution, are often disregarded by many religious people and organizations. The book is called Science, Evolution, and Creationism. It explains the overwhelming evidence for evolution and addresses the desires of some Christian creationists to put their rival theories into public classrooms. The 72-page book is aimed at a general reading audience and is as non-technical as possible. A recent study published in the Federation of American Societies for Experimental Biology's journal indicated that 61% of Americans actually accept evolution. The book is in paperback for $12 or free in PDF form. For your copy, go to www.nap.edu. One of the world's top climate scientists has died. Bert Bolin, a Nobel Prize winning Swedish climate scientist, died of stomach cancer on January 2nd. Bolin started studying the carbon cycle in the 1950s. He served 10 years as head of the IPCC, or Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. The IPCC split the Nobel Peace Prize with former U.S. Vice President Al Gore in 2007 for their work on global warming. Bolin taught meteorology at Stockholm University for over 30 years. The author of several science books, Bolin helped policymakers understand the often conflicting climate data. He also served as the scientific advisor to the European Space Agency. He was 82 years old. A life in science well lived. Despite the writer's strike, we're still here at 3D Science News. I'm Elaine Lee, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.